Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. So today we're going to have a look at this knife from CRKT that really is meant to be, mm, you know, one of those knives that you see when you're on vacation in a gift store with your name printed on it. That's what this is supposed to be, but a lot cooler. This is the CRKT Drifter. And of course, if at the ending of the video you feel like purchasing a Drifter, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Alright, let's get our size references done here. So, that's what it looks like next to a Sharpie closed up. Let's open up the blade. And that looks to be just a little bit longer. Yeah, I'll turn that sideways so you can see it this way. Let's slide in the old ruler here. Get a measurement opened up all the way. Yeah, it looks about right. Just about six and a half inches. There's a six. There's the half mark. Closed up. Maybe three and three quarters right about there. Look at how thin this knife is. All right. Chopsticks, thin side, thick side, that's going to be way thinner than the thick side. Look at that. Probably going to be more similar to the thin side. All right, flip it sideways. Here's a look at the scales, thick side of the chopstick. The ruler is going to engulf this thing. It's going to totally cover it. Check that out. All right, take a measurement, maybe down to this hump here. Maybe just short of inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter is right there. Maybe an inch and one sixteenth, I, think, I believe it is what that is there. Super narrow. It's going to disappear in the pocket. You're not even going to notice it's there. All right, let's have a look at the blade thickness here. And that's going to be... Ooh, might we have finally one that's... Nah, maybe... Always like to give two quarters just to see... Yeah, maybe about two quarters. And then this drop point design is going to get down to a pretty thin point there. Bring in the dime. As you can see it there. Alright, this is going to be a winner for weight-wise. So, deck of cards again, 3.4 ounces. Drifter coming in. Way under. Three ounces. Yeah! Alright, so the Drifter has thumb studs as a way to open it. So most people will just kind of grab it with a thumb and rotate it around that way. If you want to practice flicking it open, you just get a good grip on it. Flick it open that way. And if we flip it under here, we see that this is a frame lock. So the frame here on this side is going to bend in and lock right underneath the blade here. Again, this is a very lightweight knife. So the arm that goes on there is going to be very thin. You definitely don't want to be doing any heavy work with this knife. Up front, we got a drop point blade design with a nice little swedge up here. High hollow grind, carries the shoulder, so that hollow grind comes all the way up here. You can see that little convex in here. So hollow grind, it's going to be a great slicer. Satin finish, steel that's being used here is 8CR14MOV, so 0.8 carbon, very high carbon. It's going to be really hard, 14% chromium, very resistant to corrosion. It's easy to sharpen. Edge retention is decent, but for budget steel, that's really what you want. Okay, let's have a look at these stainless steel handles. Not contoured, flat. Got this matte titanium nitride finish. Perfect for printing your name or your company's name on it. That's what this is really meant for. How thin this is. No backspacer. They went with standoffs. So all that rubbish from your pocket is going to fall right through. Of course, we have torque screws in case you want to take it apart to maintain it, lubricate it, clean it. Just having a look at this pocket clip, which is massive compared to the daintiness of this blade. Turn that side, always can have a look at that profile. So this is not reversible. Right hand carry only, tip down carry. Let's have a look at what this is going to look like in your pocket. Hey, it's not a bad look. Grip wise, not bad for such a small knife. I'm able to get my entire hand on there and you barely feel it because the thickness is so thin. Nice jimping up here on the spine when you're doing cutting. 
It's very rare you see jimping that aggressive on a knife that's under $30, but pretty comfortable. Got a little stop right here in the front, absence of a sharpening choil, so when you're sharpening, you got to be a little bit careful not to bump down into this area right here, which would be the bolster area on the fixed blades. But yeah, decent sized grip. Well, I guess for under $30, if you're looking for an EDC knife that's not going to feel like a bag of potatoes in your pocket, the Drifter is a really good choice. Um, you got a really aggressive blade style on here, jimping on the spine, really nice pocket clip, and a big enough grip so it feels comfortable in your hand. So if you're looking for a really tiny EDC knife, you might want to check out the CRKT Drifter. Remember, if you want to purchase this knife, make sure you check out the links in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.